Good morning. Another episode of Running with Laz. Today, I'm not going to really talk about running. Um, what's been bothering me a lot lately is all the, not just professional athletes, but you've got actors, athletes, newscasters, pretty much anybody just bashing one and another, the liberals versus the um, conservatives, right versus the left. So many people out there just being so negative to each other. Politicians, Democrats, Republicans, you know, nobody coming together to do the right thing. You know, even our, our president, Donald Trump, who I voted for, by the way, um, not really trying to, at least what I perceive, bring this country back together. It's all about one side arguing with the other or one side one-upping the other. So much negative talk from all of them. Then you have this newscaster, um, I'm not even sure what her name is, Laura something, who tells LeBron James and a few other ones that they just need to shut up and dribble. And of course, I agree to that to an extent. But, you know, these professional athletes, they are human beings just like we are. They have the right to their voice. That's why they live in this country. It's all about freedom. So we can pretty much say whatever we want to say. However, when you're on such a huge platform, you know, whether it's an NBA star, NFL, um, baseball, you know, why don't we work together to try to bring peace and harmony instead of, you know, LeBron James bashing Donald Trump, which of course is just going to, you know, cause Trump to do the same thing. Why not talk about peace and liberty and justice for all? and bringing each other together peacefully in harmony. You know, everybody talking about social injustice and racial injustice. Yeah, I agree. But there is social and racial racial injustice in every race in this world. It's not just, you know, African American, um, whites, Chinese, uh, Mexicans, whatever. Everybody has some sort of racial injustice. We really just need to find a way to get through this together as a human race. Whether you're white, black, again, Hispanic, Mexican, Chinese, Islamic, whatever you are, at the end of the day, we all need to work together. I have not heard a speech out there or any politician out there and maybe they're just maybe they are but they're just not being broadcast because they're not bringing in the rhetoric like everybody else is but i think the last true politician not even politician last true individual that i recall who really tried to bring peace into this world was martin luther king junior and you know his kind a race suffered some of the worst social injustices and yet just about every speech I've heard is about peace and working together and you know black and white being together I wanted to play um, his speech in front of the Lincoln Memorial Um, you know I have a dream speech to me, was one of the best speeches. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but just, you know, a portion of it, because I think it's important to remember the words from this individual, and they weren't rhetoric like we hear today. It was honesty and from his heart of trying to bring brotherhood to all mankind. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream 
that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the South with. And with this faith. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day with all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Folks, how powerful is that message? I don't care what anybody says. That man 
wasn't black, wasn't white. He was a man, a human being put here by God. And that's what I believe. And those immortal words, I have a dream, and also let freedom ring. We need to work together as a human race and stop the crap of fighting back and forth between actors, politicians, you name it, whatever it is. You are on your your platform, you have the ability to bring this nation together and this world together. Stop trying to one-up each other. This just drives me nuts. Listen to that speech. Listen to that man. That man had heart. That man had character. I wish, I wish I knew that man or had 15 minutes to talk to him. I would have loved it, absolutely loved it. I have a dream, people. I have a dream that we will come together as a human race. I love you all. Take care. Another episode of Running with Laz.